Hey guys, so today is not going to be a vlog. It's going to be an update on everything that's been happening with my dad, um, with our dad. He came, we had church today, it's Sunday, so we came to church and my dad told everybody the the news that we want to share with y'all. And so we're just going to let y'all see all of that since it's pretty long. And so yeah, we'll catch y'all tomorrow in the next vlog. But for right now, just stay tuned and watch the announcement that we have for y'all. <laughs> Just a quick little tip. So our church, since our church is bilingual, my dad did his speech in both English and Spanish. He does translate most of what he says into English um, and then vice versa. I don't know if any of y'all just know Spanish, but either way, there's a way for you to figure out what he's saying. So yeah, just, just by the way. Both way began, everything went out, everything went good in the surgery. Um, you know, when, the, when, when you've never ever been hardly sick, and you don't never go to the doctor or ever been in the hospital, you know, it's kind of scary. Como yo nunca he ido al hospital para nada, ni operación o lo que sea, you know, a veces me da, me dio temor un poco. Pero yo confío en yo confío en el Señor y todo salió bien. Ellos dijeron que cortaron el tumor y sacaron todo y ya estoy bien. We saw that God was with us from the very beginning, and we saw His hand in Him through everything and everyone, every nurse and every doctor that sat with us, just prayed with us, gave us scripture. I mean, just words of, of encouragement, unos palabras de de ánimo. You know, y eso es bonito tanto. You know, los que fueron a verme, los los que llamaron y mandaron texto. Mi todo lo agradezco mucho. You know, nosotros we really appreciate everything for everyone, from everyone, all the words and all the texts and the calls and, and the donations that you've given. You know, we really, really appreciate it. We love God. And we see how God shows me that He loves me through you guys. And, um, but now, ya ahora que ya esto ya terminó del de tumor, uh, les quiero avisar en donde quedamos. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know where we are now. Um, right now, ellos cuando entraron, Cortaron el tumor y hicieron todo. Uh, miraron dos, how would you say spots? Manchas en mi hígado. Los cortaron y dijeron que no, no tenía cáncer. Y, y, y después, de, 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 you know, unos días después, vino la doctora con nosotros y, y dice que ya después le dijeron que sí tenía cáncer. Y también había otras manchas. Quitaron 23 otras manchas. 13 tenían cáncer y, y 10 no. Solo que sí, regó un poco. Yo digo un poco porque no, no era. You know, ellos no, no nos hicieron como sentir que era. Wow, sí se regó todo. Por mucho. So, ahorita están diciendo que sí hay. Adentro. Ellos me sacaron sangre antes, ayer, antes de salir. Y. Um, ellos tienen que analizar mi sangre y esta semana me van a decir que sí o que no a mí tengo que entrar otra vez a hacer una, un examen que, que les va a enseñar dónde está el cáncer hasta dónde se regó so after the surgery everything went well they found a couple of spots in my liver that they cut out and said it wasn't cancerous but after the fact, after a few days, they came back after analyzing those spots and they said that it, uh, it was cancerous. And they cut out 23 lymph nodes 
across you know the area where, where they found it and they said 13 of those lymph nodes had cancer and 10 did so it spread a little bit and i say a little bit only because um, they didn't really make a big deal about how much it spread so i know that it, it, it spread but not a lot so now we're in the process they checked they, they took a sample of my blood before i left yesterday and now we're at the point of waiting to see that those moles were where I to see that uh, chemotherapy. I'm going to need chemotherapy no matter what. Lo que la sangre les va a decir esta semana es si ellos necesitan entrar y operarme otra vez para cortar parte de mi hígado para sacar ese cáncer. So we're waiting to see with the, with the results of this blood this week to to see if they're going to have to do another surgery on my liver and cut part of it out or cut that part of the, the cancer out. Uh, so, you know, this is where we are now. Aquí es donde estamos. This is where we are. And we've talked to the kids, we've talked to our families. You know, we know that um, that God is good. So I'm just going to just say, I see the good of the And yo si les digo que yo clamo la victoria del Señor Jesucristo. Hallelujah. And I claim healing in Jesus' name. And I claim healing. Yes, the sanidad. Pero tengo un camino. You know, we have a, a tough road coming up ahead. Un camino duro que que viene por venir. Que ya voy a comenzar. Me dijeron en tres o cuatro semanas comienza el quimioterapia. And ojalá que no más sea eso. Yo le pido a Dios y creo que Dios le va a contestar. Amen. 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 I know that I've uh, asked God for you know that it's just going to be chemo that I need and then that's it. So I know that, you know, I know in whom I, whom, in whom I believe and what he can do. And, um, you know, I just ask that you guys también se unen conmigo y vamos a decir que ya soy sano. It's such a crazy thing, you know, with problems that people have, uh, things that we go through, we think, oh my God, it's such a big thing, and they are a big thing in the moment, but when you have a call and they tell you that it's cancer, that you have cancer, I mean, there's nothing else to me right now that, that can trump this. Cuando me dicen, you know, cuando me dijeron que, que tengo cancer, I mean, hay problemas, pero este problema, para mí ahorita no creo que no hay problema más grande que este cancer en mi vida. Y uno, you know, uno piensa en yo y mis niños y, y mi familia y mi esposa. And, es, you know, tengo que pensar y, y sí me da miedo porque, pues, you know, yo no quiero morir. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave them. They're still little. These guys are pretty big, but they're still young, baby. Yeah. También aquí en la iglesia. Nos necesitamos unos a los otros. You know, we need each other here. And I need to be here with my family. And, uh, you know, so it, it is a little bit hard. Yo, ayer nos dijeron todo esto. And yo y Lori hemos llorado. Yo creo, tratamos de aguantarnos un poco, pero yo creo que en los próximos días sí vamos a estar llorando mucho. Porque, you know, una señora me dijo que quimioterapia a veces le, le afecta mucho a diferentes personas y a otros no. Estoy esperando, yo les digo, yo les dije la otra vez que les, me siento fuerte y estoy fuerte. Y creo que sí voy a salir de eso. Mí, sí, sí voy a salir, no creo, yo sé que voy a salir de eso. Be strong in my faith because there's no other one that I can go to. No hay nadie con quien yo puedo ir. No hay nadie más con quien puedo ir con esto. Solo el Señor es Amen. 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 He's the one. I have my confidence in Him. Si yo fuera, si fuera por mí, yo me ya, yo creo 
pero ya hubiera más de haber en la casa dormido you know, más sin querer pensar de eso pero no yo sé que Dios todo lo puede no hay God can do all the impossible I know that he's with me and I know that he loves me yo sé que él me ama y él está conmigo you know this week uh, one of the things that really I've never ever gotten a phone call that made me just stop and, and just have to sit down and think Uh, nunca en mi vida he, he recibido una llamada donde me hizo sentar como en shock y no poder pensar en nada más. And this week, I got a call from the American Cancer Society. Um, saying we have to, we, you know, we're here to register. Never in my life have I ever thought of a call. That never came to me. That this would happen. And I just had to sit there, just for a moment, thinking, wow, wow, this is still unbelievable. No podía creer. You know, it must have took a long time to just to. Just to accept it. Me tomó un momento para aceptarlo y decir, bueno, aquí estamos. This is where I am now. But like I said before, the other day, before I went to surgery, como dije la otra vez antes de, de, de ir al, al, al surgery, you know, yo ahorita les doy testimonio de lo que Dios va a hacer en unos seis meses. Me va a tocar seis meses de, de, de ese quimioterapia y ahorita yo les digo que estoy sano y vivo. Hola, Dios. Because I know that God can and He will because I've asked Him to doubt it down in my mind. Y eso es el Dios que servimos. I'm a strong young man. spirit in my mind and I know that's because of God's love towards me. You know, my in my spirit I'm strong with the Señor and also my mind. I know that God has given me a mind strong. I've always looked for the Lord. I've always served God. And you know, one thing has changed now. Things have changed now. That, you know, the Bible, when I read the Bible, when I read the Bible before, I mean, I know how things work. I know that God loves me. Yo sé que Dios me ama. Yo sé que, que, que las cosas son así, que Dios puede hacer lo, lo imposible. Pero ya ahorita, I have experienced the miracle that God has done in me. Ahora, es más profundo lo que yo sé, what I know, what I believe, because it's now happening to me. You know, one thing that I can say is that all my life that I've been here able to understand the Word of God is I know that God loves me. Una cosa que puedo decir que toda mi vida que yo he podido leer y entender las cosas del Señor, yo sé que Él me ama. I know that He loves me. Sin duda, yo sé, yo sentía, yo, yo lo sabía, yo conocía. You know, todo lo que la palabra de Dios me, 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 me decía. Pero después de este, de este uh, surgery, después de esta operación, no entiende. Aleluya. Como es que yo ahora sé que Dios sí me Y cuánto me ama. Y yo lo siento en mí. I feel it in me and I just feel like it's just now something that has been, you know, I'm closer to God and I, you know, I love God and I hope God knows that and I know He does, but when, when it comes to me knowing that God loves me, I mean, I feel this so strongly in me and I know it even more. I've always known it, but now even more that God is love. And you know, 
You know, I, 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 I want you guys to get up at those to pull in the pit for me. Yo voy a tocar el piano y ella va a cantar un canto, pero quiero que todos canten con nosotros. Amén, amén. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Gracias. Que Dios los bendiga, aprecio. Primeramente quiero darle las gracias a todos, como dice Mike, a todos aquellos que han estado orando por nosotros. Hermanas, thank you. Ustedes han sido un gran respaldo para mí. Quisiera leer este salmo que está en el Salmo 91, Psalms 91. And it says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. El Salmo 91 dice que el que habita abajo del, en el abrigo del Altísimo morará bajo la sombra del Omnipotente. And that is where Mike and I and my family are. Ahí es donde estamos nosotros. Debajo del abrigo del Todopoderoso. Amen. Amen. No podemos hacer otra cosa más que darle la honra y la gloria al Señor. There's nothing more that we can do but to give honor and glory to the Lord. And the song that I'm going to sing is a song that we would listen to in the hospital and it would just make us feel the Spirit of the Lord with us. Este canto lo escuchábamos mientras estábamos en el hospital y era un canto que nos, que llegaba el Espíritu Santo con nosotros y nos daba esa paz. Entonces yo, como dijo Mike, quisiéramos que ustedes lo canten junto con nosotros. Amén. 